Hey guys, today we're taking a look at a very interesting RV camping product, a portable fire pit. This is the Bonfire by a company called Solo Stove. This is a pretty substantial fire pit, weighs about 20 pounds and it's pretty big. So I don't know how often we'll actually carry this around on the road because it takes up a fair amount of storage space. They make these same basic design fire pits in different sizes. In fact, the smallest is literally a personal cooking stove. So let's open up the carry case and reveal the fire pit. This is made of stainless steel, 304 stainless steel. And on the top, you have a removable little ring and you can lay it like this for storage and transportation. But when it's time to actually build the fire, we'll flip this around. And from a design perspective, this will channel the smoke up and in theory, away from people who are gathered around the fire. So it comes with this nice carry case. And voila, the fire pit is revealed. What makes this fire pit really unique is the design. It is de designed to channel airflow beneath the fire and feed the fire with fresh oxygen uh, and so obviously this is a wood fueled fire pit. There's nothing artificial about this fire. And the advantages of this design, again, air flows in through the bottom of the fire and comes up through the fire. All the contents of the fire pit burn more thoroughly because it's inside this sort of stainless steel chamber. It's a pretty simple product, but it's, it's well engineered and the build quality is very good. So what we're gonna do is set this on the ground and we're gonna build fire. All right guys, so now it's time to play with fire here on Long Long Honeymoon. There's no propane, there's no remote control. <laughs> you know, what you need to do is stack together some pieces of wood, maybe have some kindling. We're putting some paper in the bottom maybe to help things get going. And we have a little fire starter. Ideally, you want some sort of fire starter in there as well. And then uh, coup de gras is this little piece, which is a little ring that will help channel the smoke straight up in theory and away from people who are sitting near the fire. So, here we go. Without any further ado, it's fire time. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Now, if you really want to have some fun, throw some M80s in there. No, don't do that. So, I'm just lighting the paper underneath the wood, obviously. Lighting our little fire starter. Let's see what happens here. We have flame. Yoga fire. Yoga Flame. It's an old Street Fighter 2 reference for those of you who played video games in the early 90s. Again, I do have a little fire starter in there, but I think what's really helping uh, is the paper that we put in the bottom. Just plain white paper that made the ultimate sacrifice of helping us start this fire. And something I really like about this, it keeps your mess in one place. So I think it really makes cleanup of the fire pit an easier proposition. So it's working great. 
like and air is flowing in through the bottom and feeding the fire. Well, I have to say, normally we are not the greatest campfire builders, but I feel like with this solo stove, it's sort of like campfire building for dummies. It's like you stick some paper in there, you put a few logs in and you light it and it really does the work for you because it's really just sucking that air in the bottom and bringing it up. And I mean, this thing's been going for less than five minutes and this is an awesome strong flame. And I feel like typically when we build a campfire to get a flame like this, it takes us a good half hour, 45 minutes of sort of like lighting it and fanning it and you know, moving things around and getting it just so. And um, this has been just super easy. And I like that it contains the mess, you know, it's like we don't have to worry about where we sit this. It's, it's self-contained. It's not going to bother anything. It's not going to leave any mess behind that's going to be contained in this, you know, cylinder. And um, it looks cool. It's pretty easy to transport. I mean, it is a little bulky, but for what it is, I think it's great. And it matches our airstream. I can really feel the heat sitting here. It's nice. I can be fairly close to the fire. Where's my marshmallow, my stick, my s'mores? I have to say, guys, I'm super impressed with this thing because I'm not always exactly Grizzly Adams with the campfire. <laughs> it usually takes a lot of work to make a fire of this quality. And we'd be doing pretty darn good if we got anywhere close to this quality. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the um, 11 years we've been doing this, we've never had a campfire <laughs> this successful. You know, based upon our results with this, I will amend my previous statement. Actually, we might lug this thing around with us because yeah. I would rather have this than, than just spend an hour trying to assemble a decent fire on the average fire pit that you find in any campground or national park or what have you. I think having all of your wood contained in this stainless steel chamber is a huge upside. And then having that airflow uh, really feeds the fire. I mean, this is like instant perfect campfire, uh, but we're not really getting the smoke. I mean, you can see the smoke is, is being channeled mm -hmm. straight up. So it's working as intended. Yeah, this fire is really hot. Like, honestly, this is normally kind of how close I would sit to a campfire, like a traditional campfire. And I would sort of be trying to inch closer to get some warmth. And let me just say right now, I can feel my eyebrows. They're a little warm. So it's like, I really need to s scoot back some yeah. from this because it's so intense. So if you want a campfire that's gonna keep you warm, and it's gonna keep the smoke out of your eyes. You're not gonna, you don't even really smell like a campfire. Most places you go are gonna let you have this because it's so self-contained. So yeah, I think it's awesome. Add it to the cart if you haven't already. And we did buy this ourselves. Nobody sponsored this video. We paid for this with our own hard-earned cash. And I think it was money well spent. Woo! <laughs> And uh, we'll also have some links in the description beneath this video if you want to go in and check it out yourself. Again, they do make different sizes of these. I think this is a perfect size if you have a group of people and you, and you want a traditional campfire. Right. You can see the flame being fed by the oxygen inside the chamber. That's what is really impressive to me, uh, the design of this thing. It looks like a simple product, but there's a lot, a lot of thought and engineering went into this. It's great. Hey guys, if you like our videos, a great way to say gracias senor is to visit our store on Amazon. You can go directly to amazon.com slash shop slash long long honeymoon or you can go to long long honeymoon.com and click the large supply store icon on the main page. The icon is so large, I don't even need my eyeglasses to see it. In our store, you will find all sorts of cool stuff, including Long Long Honeymoon hoodies, Long Long Honeymoon t-shirts, my hat, 
my shoes, my old underwear, my self-respect, everything must go. Proceeds from our Amazon store are reinvested into our show, which requires large amounts of duct tape and lubricant to keep running smoothly. Who let the flies out?